Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth, if you're new, welcome. Here's our beautiful block for today and it's pretty easy to put together. It just requires some squares. So I have five white squares and I have 32 two inch squares that are all a variety of those soft, pretty colors. I'm beginning my quilt block by putting together my four square and a square blocks using the white three and a half inch squares. And I'm placing a two inch square in that first corner. You can see I drew a pencil line from corner to corner and I'm putting a seam right on top of the pencil line. I opened up that triangle and I made sure that it was the right size and now I will cut away that excess fabric behind. Going to go around on each corner and add a two inch square and there will be an overlap of about a quarter of an inch. After making all four of my square in a square blocks using those scrappy two inch squares, I'm going to press them and I will double check that they all measure three and a half inches. Now that my first four pieces are complete, now all I need to do is make four, four patches using the leftover squares. I have a drawer full of two inch squares here in my sewing room and I dug through there today and pulled out some beautiful colors to put my four patches together and my square and a square together. There are a couple duplicates of these fabrics, but I tried to mix it up as much as I could. It's summertime where I live, and I think these colors in this quilt are just perfect for this time of year.
I have all of the elements I need for my quilt block now, my four patches, my square and a square, and the center square for my quilt block is that white three and a half inch square. And now I'm going to lay everything out and then I'll be joining them in rows and then putting the rows together. This is a beautiful scrappy block that will make a wonderful quilt. I haven't decided if the blocks should be next to each other or maybe with a white sashing, I think would also look really nice. I'll add a couple of those pictures towards the end here so you can see what that might look like. Here they are all placed together. It makes an interesting um, quilt pattern. And then I also tried it with a white sashing, which I think I prefer. You can really see that quilt block with the white sashing there. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.